Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Welcome to the Thrift Flip Road Trip. So I'm going to take you on a little road trip to a couple of places that I like to go. And we're going to see what I find and we'll do a little flip. Okay? Alright, let's go. Project number one. I found this pan at one of the places that I went the other day on my road trip, uh, which was the Salvation Army, and it was packed. So I did not get a any video of it. There was so many people, and I just felt uncomfortable getting any video. But I found this little pan for a dollar, and the handle was out straight, like if you were going to hold it over the stove or a fire, and um, I decided I had my husband bend it up so that I could put it onto a board and I drilled a hole in it. Now here I'm showing I snapped it off because it had a little hook to the back of it and it wouldn't hook onto the board flat. So I snapped it off and when I did it snapped off right where I put the hole in the back to hook it to the board. So I had to drill another hole. <laughs> so that's what I was doing there. I am now adding my Mod Podge because I'm going to grubby this pan up and I'm going to cover the inside and outside even though the inside you're really not going to be able to see all that well just in case you never know I may change it up and and want to take that uh, what I put inside out um, and you just I don't know it just feels more finished with it all over I do have a video about grubbying I will link down in the description if you're interested it's dedicated to grubbying candles with wax, plastic, or even metal uh, and wood. So it can be done and you can use regular glue, school glue, or here I'm using Mod Podge because I have a big jug of it and it's readily handy. Okay, so this is the little board that I'm going to use. It said welcome on it with a little strawberry bunch on the front, which was really cute, but it's obviously not going to go with my decor and what I like. So I sanded it down a little bit and because it was a little bit shiny and also I'm going to distress it back and I did not want any of that color to come through and so I just dulled it up a little bit. So this is Waverly... Um, chalk paint in the color ink which is a black color and I'm just covering this all over and I only did one coat on this it actually covered really well with the one coat so I didn't really need a second coat anyway Now after distressing, I did spray seal it so that it wouldn't uh, flake off anymore or get distressed anymore. Uh, it's easier to clean when it's spray sealed as well, so I like that. 
So I'm just taking a little screw and putting it in that hole that I drilled and screwing it to my board right in the middle. It's not completely dry, so if it looks like it's still got some white on it and stuff, it it does. It's the, the Mod Podge is not completely dry that I used to seal it with. I was just impatient and I couldn't wait to get started on this. So I'm adding a little bit of the Spanish moss to the inside of the tin and I glued that in and then added a cute little battery light and a little bow tie and some pit berries and this is how it looks. Project number two is this milk pitcher that I found. This is a really cute pitcher, but it wouldn't be a thrift flip if I didn't do something with it. So I'm going to take my chalk paint that I got. This is um, platinum ring, I believe it's called. So it's kind of a bluish gray color. And I think it's really pretty. So I'm going to cover this all up. I'm going to do two coats with this to get it completely covered and then I will spray seal it with again my Rust-Oleum spray sealer because I'm going to be putting a stamp over the top and I want to be able to clean it off easily if it doesn't come out right. So I have my two coats, I've sprayed it and here is my really cute, I love this wreath uh, bird butterfly stamp that I have. I got it off Amazon There'll be a link down in the description. I used it on a previous video and I think it came out so cute. So we're going to try it on this. It's a curved surface. Um, it is really difficult. I should have maybe stamped it on something else and then um, stamped it on there to get it a little bit lighter. But I didn't do that. So here we are. <laughs> we're going to try it with all this paint on it. And we're going to see how it comes out. Voila! It's not super crisp, but it's supposed to be a distressed, uh, old-looking piece. So I'm hoping to just touch up some parts that I got some black on it. And um, once I'm done, hopefully it won't be so bad. And then I sprayed it again, spray sealed it again. Um, I Well, I sanded it down first, and then I spray sealed it again to just keep it in there. But I'm just taking a little bit of that black off there, and it, it kind of dulled it a little bit. So now I'm taking my antiquing wax watered down, and this has got a little bit of black in it, so you're going to see that, but it's going to rub right off. And it's just making it look a little more aged, and it also, when you see the end result, I really love it. It actually uh, shows the lines in it from the crackle from being painted before so which I didn't realize would happen but it really came out really cool once that wax went right down into those cracks made them stand out a little bit more of course aged it and distressed it which I love here I'm just going around the edges and trying to get it into the cracks there as well and letting it sink down in and then just wiping it back a little bit and I think it came out really cool. See what you think. Welcome to the Thrift Flip Road Trip, guys. This is so cool. 
This is hosted by our Green Acres and Crafting Cousins. And this was fun. This is the first time I've done this one and this collaboration. And it was a lot of fun. I love, I'm getting to know a lot of these people through these collaborations and I'm really enjoying it a lot. So I hope you guys are too. I will have the links to both of their channels down in my description and the link to the playlist of other creators that will be in this collaboration with me. So please join along and take this road trip with us. All right, here's some canisters that I got for project number three. These are the, I guess you call them the hermetic uh, canisters so they have the little latch on them to seal them. I got three of them. One of them didn't come with the the little metal sealer uh, and they all did not have the rubber to seal it up nice and tight. So I decided to go ahead and take off all of the the metal hermetic uh, latches that they had. They really need a good clean up. These things were really nasty but I got them very inexpensively, only a couple bucks each, so I decided to go ahead and get them. There was also two other ones with the rubber and everything intact, so I left those. I'm going to do something different with those, but this one I decided I was going to just make them canisters without the hermetic part, and I'm hopefully, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, so... I just found some wooden knobs that I had extra kicking around and I'm gluing those with E6000 and some super glue or some hot glue and I made out of my molds with my air dry clay I made a nice big beautiful flower and I will try to link the mold down in the description as well I believe I got that off of Amazon I'll see if I can find it anyway, and I'll put it right down in there um, if you guys are interested in that. It's got a bunch of really pretty different uh, flowers on it and little leaves that you can add with it. But this one I wanted to do just the flower, so I'm adding E6000, and I spread it all over right to the edges and put it on there and made, it, made sure it was down really nicely and kind of cleaned it up where I had some clay that I didn't want in places and just gently so that I didn't mess up the images gently pushed it down so that it would seal and I set that aside and decided to paint my knobs that really pretty green color that I used a while back I used it in another um, video I made it from mixing moss uh, chalk paint and some of the platinum ring chalk paint together to make that pretty green so now I'm using that green to color the flower in the middle and here I'm using the little brush to get around the edges close to the jar so they don't make too much of a mess. Now I'm taking a little touch of black paint and putting it on the knobs just around the edges, a little more accentuating the edges and then I'm going to brush lightly across the top to make it look a little more distressed and aged. Then once that's dry I'm taking a little bit of white wax or it's actually clear wax with a little bit of white paint in it because I'm out of white wax. Uh, I just made a little bit to do these knobs and the flowers. So I'm brushing it on and then pulling it back off and seeing what it looks like and doing both of those. Now I'm adding jute around the bottom of the knobs because when I put the glue on it kind of smushed out around the edges and it's really hard to get that to clean up underneath that lip of that knob. So I thought I would just add a little bit of jute twine and it actually looks very nice I think. I was a little bit hesitant at first but I think it looks okay with um, with what I'm trying to do. So we're going to just do that. And I'm taking that same brush that I used on my knobs and brushing the black paint across the top, just, just a light dry brush and hitting the all the little petals and kind of accentuating them 
as you can see the flowers really popping as I do that. Once that's dry I'm taking some of that white wax again that I made up and um, pushing that down into the cracks and crevices, softening everything up, and just giving it some more detail. So I'm just pulling back that wax on the flower and leaving it down in the crevices and a few high spots here and there, but wiping most of it down. And then I am going to take my Rust-Oleum flat clear spray sealer and go over all of the all of the canisters, both of them, to get some of that shininess down. It was very shiny, so I think it's made it more matte and looking like it's been painted or more like a crock, which I really like the look of. So I'm also putting the jute rope or twine around the inside lip of that crock as well. And then here is the finished product. So what do you think? I went from a primitive to a country to a farmhouse project. Which one was your favorite? Don't forget to go down and check out the playlist of all the other creators that are joining in this collaboration. They're so creative and I know you'll love it. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.